So I have my mast trunk base here and I've marked the position where bulkhead 3 goes through. Now this bit here has to join onto this bit here, something like that. I'm going to try to make a puzzle joint. Well, it didn't go exactly as planned, and that's a bit too thin for my liking, but uh, the bandsaw wouldn't do any tighter curve than that, so that's our puzzle piece. Yeah, okay, well that worked out pretty good. Um, it fits in if you mallet it down. So I've started cutting out these uh, sections here. There for the stringers. Here's a stringer. These will just support the uh, top of the deck. The next task on the boat is to glue in place these bulkheads. I've got all these little temporary cleats on there, here and there, which is keeping everything in the correct place and alignment. I have to put in the proper fillets. What I did before, I had to do a fillet here, I would do it and I do it around the cleat. That was what I did for these bulkheads here. But I don't really want to do that here. I'd like to have no cleats if I can. The question is how to do that exactly. I could do a fillet on this side here, but then, when I went to remove this cleat, it wouldn't work because these screws would be covered. I've come up with a kind of plan. I'm just going to put a bunch of epoxy over the joints here and on the other side uh, in strategic places. So it kind of like tacks it in place. Hopefully it'll be just strong enough that I can remove all the cleats and put the fillets in. Eh, it's worth a shot. So what I'm going to do now is remove those cleats and hopefully everything stays in place and then I can get some proper fillets on there and everything will be groovy. So it turns out I'm not a very smart man and I uh, very quickly ran into an issue which I will demonstrate. Here is one of the screws that I put in and if you look at it closely you can see that there is epoxy all up in there. As a consequence, I can't actually undo it. I should have made sure that there was no epoxy in the actual head of the screw, but I didn't. All this work was basically for nothing. So much for that plan. I have a plan B though. Do the fillets on the areas that are exposed. Wait for that to dry and then chisel off the wood that's forming the cleats and then just cut the ends of the screws off with the grinder I guess. And I mean it's a waste of like 20 stainless steel screws which is annoying. There's not really any other way now. Well you know what you experiment with these things and you try them and you see what works. That didn't work. So now I know. Although it would have worked if I had have just been smart enough to make sure that there was no epoxy in the heads of the screws. But uh, so smart am I not. Now that our fillets are all solid on these sides, have to get rid of these. Well, that's a chisel. Just sort of knocking it off. Probably can't see it, but I just chiseled right into a screw. 
I'm gonna have to resharpen this chisel. Poor chisel. Well, welcome to amateur chiseling hour here. Hey, look at that. Yay. Now I just need to grind these off. Pretty good. Ow, 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 hot, hot, hot. That'll do. So I've cut off all the screws and they look more or less like that, all of them. And that, and that. They're all ground off now. So I won't make this, that mistake again in the future. I think it would be a good idea to put a little tape over the screw heads next time. So uh, if it does happen again, I can just pull the tape off and everything will be fine. What's next? filleting all this. After that, these pieces here, gluing in of all the mask trunk stuff. And then after that, scarfing of the planks, putting the planks on. And then after that, gee golly willikers, who even knows, lots of complicated stuff. I still have to put a patch in here. Oh, and then after that, oh, so much, so much. I was like, I could get this done in the summertime. Join me as I spend Six months, hopefully. Yeah, nah. And then I was like, I could get this done before next summer. Mm, maybe. I'd like to let everyone know that it's Monday the 14th of May. And I can't remember exactly when I got my plans last year, but it was basically May. So I think I've been building this thing for about a year now. So yay. <laughs>